what's happening guys Jen here and back again for another video and today it is about games you must play and I'm picking the PlayStation 1 as my little culprit to talk to you guys about three titles racers now this is an odd one for me as I've said it before I'm not like a huge racing kind of girl you know I'm not massively like in a rush to go out and buy Gran Turismo or dirt by any stretch of the imagination however the consoles that I grew up on I feel I need to pay homage to some of the games that I've played um, and I really enjoyed now this playlist is not about hidden gems it is not about the common titles either it's the kind of the in-between stuff that we need to get maybe just a little bit more conversation flowing in these types of videos so as ever guys smash your comments below don't forget to hit like and subscribe as well so first up is a game that i played very for like the first time i think it was christmas 97 and it was a game my brother had gotten with his playstation one and i love this game i'm telling you guys you need to play porsche challenge now it's quite it's not as kind of arcadey as something like ridge race this tends to take a little bit more of a serious feel when it comes around to racing games obviously the porsche brand um, is endorsed right throughout which i think is beautiful you play so you play you race in porsche boxes and there are different cars and different people and all of the drivers have different kind of personality traits really kind of quirky bits of humor uh, to their dialogue which i really really loved um, and i just wanted i remember playing this back in the day and just wanted to get like unlock the pink car so i could race in the pink car like i just love this game now in terms of like your tracks and things they start off pretty basic but they can get really really tricky in places and some of the maps will up uh, some of the maps I'm like, what is this an rpg um some of the tracks will kind of open up um and new avenues new kind of ways to go will become apparent as you play this game a little bit more obviously like mirror mode kicks in as well um which baffled my mind as a kid i was like mirror mode oh my god you know like really really like dodgy stuff mirror mode mirror mode's always baffled me in races let me know how you feel about mirror mode guys i we should ban it but in all seriousness this is a fantastic bloody game it is fast um i love the sound effects on this game as well something about the sound effects that's just really really cool it's got a nice little soundtrack as well and if you're a fan of your porsche brand then definitely check this out but even if you're not guys I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious you need to play this and my brother scott if you're watching tell everybody in the comments how much we love this game as kids guys my first ps1 race you should play is porsche challenge so we're gonna go ahead uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put it here we'll put it right here the next game then this 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 i'm, I'm like coming to terms with the fact that i'm doing a video about racing games um but this game had a profound effect on me as a kid this had a profound effect on me in fact the whole series had a profound effect on me um the game in question is rage racer now stepping back ridge racer was one of the first racing games on the ps1 i ever played i loved how bright the color palette was i love the arcade style i love the music i love the cars i love the competition between myself and my friends and that bled into ridge racer revolution when this came out i i kind of wanted it to be along the same lines of the arcade vibe frantic crazy fast-paced music but it's very very different um it is a it's kind of a more serious take um on races probably on par with porsche challenge in that sense in that the, you know the color palette is a lot duller and the music isn't as frantic there's not as much eccentricity rippling through this but you can still feel the ridge racer vibe in that it is bloody damn fast you can cut into corners really neatly and pull out of corners just as you would in any furious arcade racing game and i absolutely love this game like i remember the graphics being blown away by the graphics back in the day um i mean it's held up reasonably well as well i will say that even porsche challenge by today's standards it ain't bad you know uh, you know the, the beveling on some of like the polygons and the edges look really really nice still so let's you know we've got some real longevity with these games as well uh, but i love this game and let me know if you've played rage racer in the comment section below let me know if you've played any of these games and don't forget guys as ever smash your recommendations um i love this game absolutely wicked game finally then is a game that i played way back on my auntie's playstation i never actually owned it i never actually thought i would like it so never bought it 
but playing it down at my aunties and I, I would again like taking a step back here freaking loved it not even joking guys it is Formula One on the PS1 a game a series you know I would never watch Formula One on TV I would never buy a Formula One game now but this is actually really really fun it hasn't held up in terms of the graphics as well as the previous two games have in this little haul but this is actually a game that I urge you to go out and play. Now, there's a few Formula One games knocking around on the PlayStation 1, but this one is literally just called Formula One. Um, I think I've got another one down here somewhere. Ooh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? F1 Racing Championship. So there's a few kicking about, uh, but this is absolutely mint. Unfortunately, I don't have the manual for it. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I really kind of like the... The, the, the tracks, the music, again, very kind of similar stuff to what I like about this. But obviously this being a Formula One game has an incredibly different vibe compared to Raid Racer and Porsche Challenge. Um, obviously different kind of car, different kind of tracks, different mechanics, different physics involved. And I like that distinction and that's why I included it in this, just to kind of mix up the kind of diversity here. So Formula One guys, have you played it? Let me know in that comment section below and again, add another three, add another four, I don't care. Get them comments rolling, guys. So, there we go. Three beautiful uh, PlayStation 1 races that you must play. Um, I will say, I think maybe kind of after the PlayStation 1 era, I tended to kind of step away from races a little bit, unless it's with brands like Mario Kart, um, you know, things like that. I don't know why that is, actually. I maybe should kind of give it a chance and, you know, is there anything I should know if I was, say, to pick up Gran Turismo or something? Is there anything I should know, or maybe if I, like, pick up Dirt or Forza or something? What is it about those games that kind of pull you in? What is it about races that you enjoy? Or are you just, a, like, a dead against kind of like oh I, I i hate races you know I, I pigeonhole myself into the mario karts only um let me know because i am kind of thinking about it a lot of you guys have said that i need to pick up forza on the xbox one which is something that i am considering because you can get it quite cheap and i know my brother's into it as well so again it is something that i'm considering so any advice you can give me would be greatly appreciated but as always ladies and gentlemen um got loads planned for the channel so i urge you to stay tuned um, I'm going to be streaming this weekend, so I absolutely cannot wait for that. Christmas is around the corner, guys, so let me know what kind of gaming items you're looking for for Christmas. And don't forget to hit like, hit that subscribe button, it is free. Just cracked my hand then. Ah. And hit that notification bell to know when I go live and post videos, and I just love interacting with you. So thank you. Um, I have just, just genuinely from the bottom of my heart, like, it's been a great year. So thank you so much, got loads of plans, uh, so keep keep supporting the channel and I'll do my best to keep retweeting your stuff, replying to comments. Um, and if there's anything you want to see, please let me know as well. If you've got any feedback for me, keep them comments flowing. Feedback is very greatly appreciated. But for now, guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will be back on stream tomorrow. Have a good one. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon.